Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Jean-Francois Boivin, and I'm associate producer on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood follows the continuing story of Ezio Auditore da Firenze in an adventure that will take him to Rome, center of power and corruption. Brotherhood takes place right after AC2, where Ezio is now older, wiser, and the leader of the Assassin Order. In this scene, he takes a break after all he's gone through at the end of AC2. <sighs> Ready to go again? <laughs> you don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the shipyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. The struggle between the Assassins and Templars has escalated and will reach new heights in Brotherhood. Ezio has become a legend, and so he's actively hunted by the Templars, who will attempt to annihilate the Order once and for all. The game pushes the cinematic envelope even further with epic, relentless gameplay moments. <laughs> The Borgia! How did we not see this? They must have passed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to reach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Anko, be careful. I will. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, we're going to exploit the full potential of the horse. For the first time in an Assassin's Creed game, you'll be able to ride horses inside cities. The horse will play a major role in mission and free roaming and can now be used in acrobatic sequences as well as advanced combat. So you'll have the ability to use melee weapons against enemies on horse or ranged weapons such as the crossbow. The horse will also be effective for executing quick escape strategies. Ezio's story in AC2 was driven by vengeance against the Templars because of the cowardly murders of his father and brothers. Well, this time around, Ezio understands there's much more at stake. Ezio will have to prove his leadership, strengthen and unite a weakened assassin order. But for now, Ezio must defend his villa and his ally. Signora Vittore, thank God! We must pull them back and the villagers escape. Lord the cannon. Destroy their cannons, Signore! Ezio needs to man the cannon and fire at siege towers to protect the villa, giving enough time for the villagers to flee to safety. The cannons became a staple in battalions as well as defense fortifications in the 15th century due to their sheer power and efficiency. Ezio's uncle, Mario, had the cannons installed in the villa, anticipating an attack such as this one after what happened at the end of AC2. He's dead, Signore! Gameplay diversity is still a huge priority for us. This ballistic gameplay is just one example, as Ezio will have multiple new gadgets and machinery at his disposal. Keep going! Throughout the game, Ezio will encounter all new enemies new guard archetypes and allies. But right now, Ezio is up against the Papal forces, highly trained, extremely skilled soldiers. Wait! Soldiers are climbing the walls! Signor, get the camp! You must stop them! Here, the enemy managed to breach the wall and Ezio needs to fend off the attackers. So we're always trying to think of new ideas to help the player get around the city in cool and efficient ways. So here, Ezio uses a merchandise lift allowing him to travel up many stories almost instantly. In Brotherhood, 
we want you to take the offensive, so we changed our fight system to reward those that strike first and strike fast. The player has new moves and mechanics to quickly eliminate multiple opponents, and we've made the AI much more aggressive. Enemies will also now attack simultaneously, but Ezio can counter or use combo strings to dispatch multiple enemies using melee and ranged weapons at the same time as well. Just here I killed the first enemy using my sword and quickly shot the other guy with my gun. And of course, with every new Assassin's Creed game, we want to offer players new ways to kill their opponents. Here's Cesare, Ezio's nemesis and biggest challenge to date. I know you're there, Ezio! The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. Atlas! Give me the gun, his friend passion for us. We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. The war will bring Ezio to the heart of Rome, a legendary city that has become decrepit under the Borgia influence, its people starved and scared. Defeating the corrupt elite entrenched there will require more than just strength and skill. He'll need to lead the people, teach them, and make them believe. And if he doesn't, all of Italy will fall. On behalf of the entire Brotherhood team, I'm Jean-Francois Boivin saying thanks and keep your eyes open for more to come soon.